Fairyland. It's tea with Tamara. Hey, 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 everyone. It is a beautiful day today, and I'm going to tell you why, because I love to tell you guys why. And really, I'm this is one of my favorite topics and one I come back to often, um, but I would like to start um, today's live with an actual funny. Like, it's actually kind of very, very, very funny, and that is the fact that today is my last day wearing glasses, like ever. Like, I'm, I'm getting rid of the glasses. These babies are going to go. However, one of the things that I was talking about last week was I can't wait to stop shaving mind in the shower. And so as I was shaving today, I was thinking, oh, good. This is my last time shaving blind. And I was like, yeah, this is amazing. Except when I got out of the shower and I went upstairs to do my hair and makeup and an entire leg, the whole front of it, I didn't shave. Like, how do you not shave and like a whole strip? Like, it was like this big of not shaved hair. I thought that was a, a funny little universal ha 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 jokes on me kind of thing because I've been so excited about not having to shave. So, I guys, I'm really excited about today because one of the things that I always talk about and some people don't understand what it is is our stardust. Now. What's magical about stardust is imagine if you will, because I actually am like truly, 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 we're all made of stardust, particles and all. Um, we're born onto this earth knowing what it is that we are meant to do with our lives, what we are meant to share with others, how we're meant to shine our light into this world. It is pre-decided before we travel down from the ethers, from the stars, into our mother's arms um, upon birth. Now, it gets really uncomfortable when we know what it is that we're meant to be doing, and we keep getting pulled by society and others away from this very light, this very thing that is our essence, our soul's mission, the very reason we chose to be born on earth in the, in the first place, right? So stardust is something that whether you realize it or not, is constantly getting your attention your entire life. So once you stand fully in your stardust, you can almost look back on everything that's happened to you and gone like, oh, that's why I chose this. This is why I did that. That's why I am the way that I am. So for instance, uh, my stardust is energy, like no helping you know exactly what's going on into your in your internal space so that you can maximize shining your stardust out into the world. So I always say my stardust is to help you find your stardust. And what that kind of is uh, brought to you by is that if I hadn't gone through the amount of things that I have and been so angry and victim and in a space of non-believing. So like I dated a, an atheist narcissist for eight years that was silly. But at the same time, because I did it, it really, really called attention to me how miserable it made me, how far away from myself I actually was. And on my 30th birthday, I bought my first intention card deck. It was the Goddess Oracle cards. Uh, I think by Doreen Virtue, if I were to think properly, if you know the answer to that, just pop it in. And it started to ignite something in me. It was like I was finding my path and my way back to who I really, really was. Now, if I hadn't gone around and, you know, surrounded myself with mental illness my entire life, like my mom, my son, my daughter has anxiety, I have anxiety, all these kinds of things, I wouldn't be able to come fully present into this moment in time and share with you guys that being an entrepreneur is an internal journey. It is not an external journey. It is internal. You need to get to a place where what is happening around you does not trigger or affect or cause any imbalances in your energetic state. That means that when people are saying you're not getting likes or you're not getting responses or somebody says something negative, you don't take that as part of you, as if that was a direct at you. It isn't, but it is triggered by something that you're carrying 
inside of you. So the key to maximizing standing in your stardust is understanding the story. The very thing that you have gotten to today here in this moment has led you to finding it. And everything along the way has been like little tiny breadcrumbs saying, hey, you know, Jane, look at this part of your life and look part, at that part. And it's like the key to it all, and I was talking about this yesterday with somebody, is finding your hero or her heroine's journey, right? It is the very reason you went through everything that you went through in order to get you to this moment, to this place, to stand fully in, in who you are and who you are meant to be and shine as bright as you can. But that means you need to go back in and figure that out and not allow what has happened to be the guiding factor of why you do or do not show up every day or why you do or do not fear what other people are saying because they are not the people that you're here to serve. So I recently got kind of pulled off my stardust trail and it happens. Like it's not like we aren't human beings. The key to success is figuring out that you're off and how fast you can get back to your stardust. My hair is crazy today, just feel like it. Um, so in the last week, so my biggest dilemma, because this is like, the biggest dilemma that I have is that I love to talk about energy. Like if you were to open up my mailbox email right now, there's two emails, one from Energy Muse and one from Hibiscus Moon. She's a crystal grid. That's where I got my crystal grids for one of my retreats, right? And I look at that and I'm like, but your stardust generally is the thing that you do every second of every moment when you are not serving or with your family. Think about that. What is it that you spend all your time thinking about doing, I freaking cannot stop reading about the subconscious mind, consciousness, higher self, meditating, crystals, clearing energy, 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 energy. It is the very essence of who I am. And where I get pulled away is the business piece, the external. Yeah. And I mean that with love because you need to have that. I have people in my team and who I love and adore who help me with the external because it's not who... I am. It's not my stardust. My stardust is very clearly helping other people create that space to allow the energy to flow within them and all their energy centers to be vibrating as high as possible so that you can receive, so that you can trust, so that you can speak, so that you can love, so that you can believe in yourself and trust yourself, so that you can be fully seen, and also so that you can take action. All of that is done internally with your energy. Um, so I want you to just kind of think today. Today's a thinking day. Today we're thinking, what is it that I can say I do or I think about when I'm not serving, working, or with my family? What lights me up, right? What is it that is like I could do it all day long? That, my friends, is your stardust. It is very, very important because when you stand in it and you're ego will tell you all the reasons why you can't stand in it but you can it is possible to stand in your stardust shine that light like a supernova and be able to build a business that feels great that supports you and supports others and is an exact value and mission to what you were put on this earth to do so that is my stardust rant for today so when i say you know stardust in all of my posts we're really just anchoring down to what you were put on this earth to do because it is already inside of you. Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Don't think that you don't have it. You do. It's whether or not you are open to seeing it, feeling it, sensing it, knowing it, and taking action in it and doing the very thing that lights your soul on fire. Sorry. <laughs> I am fired up today. I'm reading The Untethered Soul, which is anchoring me back into my human being body and my purpose and my stardust. And I just want to oh, ooze love and light out all over you guys, like somehow. But anyway, I love you. I hope you have the most magical day in all the land. And I am 100% like a faucet throwing uh, my Care Bear Sarah at all of you today um, to just think and be honest with what you know inside you is the vibration of what you're here to do. Super fun. If you have any questions, guys, always, always, always um, send me a message. If you want to see something on 
uh, tea with Tamara or you want me to Tamarize anything because ah, I can do that anytime to anything. And um, if you ever want to see these videos and you don't want to search my Facebook, you can hop over to www.youtube.com slash Tamara Arnold. And thank you for those who helped me get that. And you can always find inspiration um, and spirit driven information there. I love you all. Have a most magical day.